All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Kakadash, double honor says, teach yourself an apostle of great millstone. Also, to you, brothers, I did put on this truth faithfully, fed as he feed the sheep. And also, to you, brothers and sisters, tuning in. Shalom. And this is a very quick hit here. Um, I'm going to start off with the book of Psalms 83. And start with verse 3. And it said, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom and of Ishmaelites, of Moab and the Hagarines. And I'm going to end it right there. Now we know Edom is what? That's the empire of the so called white man, the Edomites, okay? Ishmaelites and Moab, these are the East Indians. Um, you have your Asia Minor, and of course we know Moab, the Chinese. Okay, and then you also have your South Pacific um, Asians. Now you notice in this video, what do they have here? Um, they have these mechanical dogs, okay? And you can see how acrobatic these dogs are and how fast moving they are. Now they have weaponized these. These ones that they're showing you right now in this video, these are the ones that they show you for fun because people think these are going to be the new pets that are going to be walking around with. But we all know um, that these are going to be weaponized all over the world. And Esau, okay, who's the head, uh, who's the head of this council, uh, globally that is looking to exterminate the children of Israel okay the the tribe of uh, Yasharala okay the 12 tribe you so-called blacks and Native American and Latinos okay is bringing these out and our people are just looking at these as just another invention by the great so-called white man and not understand what you're looking at here the joke a doggone uh, terminator uh, metal dogs that are going to be terminators and set loose okay in these dark times that are coming from Jacob's trouble now <clears throat> let's go into the book of Mark. Uh, one thing I slack here before we go forward here. Uh, one thing you notice it what it said was the word dystopia, and this is the word dystopia, and it means an imagined state or society uh, in which there is great suffering or injustice, typically one that is total totalitarian or post-apocalyptic. You, know, you can say uh, post-apocalyptic for us is after slavery. I mean, we came from being kings and princes and you know going into slavery and then now what basically we're fighting for our lives on a daily basis okay so this is the Soviet Israel is uh, spread across this earth okay and um Esau is sent out his hunters daily to go hunt us down to kill us okay so that's an interesting um thing that I saw that they put that there and then have these robot dogs walking uh, in this next video what you can see here is the fact that you know animals can open up car doors and get you if they need to and during these uh, dark times that are coming up, okay, what was, what was the uh, four ways that we're going to be put to death, okay? By the beast of the field, okay, by the sword, okay, and people are rising up with these weapons or guns or anything they can get their hands on to put each other to death, okay? What's the other thing here? It's going to be the lake of fire, which is going to be the final one, okay? And it's going to be the pestilence and the famine, okay? And they're all going to be going on simultaneously with the exception of the lake of fire, which is going to come at the end. This is the book of Mark. Uh, this is the book of Mark 13, down verse 33, and it says, Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is a, is a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants. And who is his servants? They see the man out there that are standing on the street corners, okay, on highways and byways, bringing out this truth, warning the people, okay, and also telling the nations exactly what's going to be ha taking place and happening to them, which is the great judgment that's going to come for Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Yahweh, Shah, Mashiach. Okay, that's going to end, end up with the lake of fire for Great Babylon America and the rest of these nations that do survive are going to go into slavery. Okay, and it says, And to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, who is Yahweh Shah Mashiach, at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. So we are never ever to put down the plow to continue to work no matter what we have to deal with in our life okay and you see right now what's going on here in great babylon great heat gina ruffalo has no power at her house we're trying to leave to go to the pool but after that i don't know where we're going to go <laughs> her neighbor is hiding in the shade of a tree hot irritated frustrated across the country dane household will pay 540 dollars in electric bills between june and august up $90 from last year. And I think one of the concerns is that the fluctuation here isn't over a few months. The fluctuations are going up and up. And right now they show no sign of coming down. 
okay? This is judgments. Not everybody, they just think it's just unusually warm, okay? When you take a look at this map here, what do you see here? It's one part, the western part of the, the country, which is in the upper, 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 um, you know, valley up in California, it's unusually cold. So people actually burn electricity to keep warm up there, okay, wearing warm clothes. Out here, you have people actually burning more electricity to stay uh, cool, okay? So gas price, sky high, food, sky high and now your utility bills are now going to be sky high because there's no way there's no way to escape with a great babylon one way or the other okay you're going to be draining drained out of whatever little bit of uh financial stability that you have okay here in this nation um in order to just survive or even sit down comfortably in your living room okay so that's the great judgment right here we have going on here so i just thought this was just interesting i wanted to bring this out here before i bring out my actual um uh, lesson that I'm going to bring out next uh, after this video is posted. So, Lord willing, um, you know, you can add to this if you choose. Um, I'd like to close it by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakadash, double honor said, teaches us us in the fossil of great millstone. Also, to you, brothers, and that are putting on the truth faithfully, fearlessly, feeding the sheep. Shalom.